We're doing something today that most people don't do when they come to the Amazon after peacocks. This probably is not going to work out, but at least we get to say we tried. And we attempted to go after one of these fish that I personally never thought I'd be fishing for. The fact that we are going after this fish right now is just incredible in of itself. Whether or not we catch one, that's not what matters. But what matters is the fact that we're on this mission to catch a literal beast, Amazonian beast. You know the plan? Yeah, he knows. Good plan? Nope. I just asked Louis. Louis said he knows. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Peace. We out. This is pretty crazy. Oh, stump. What we're doing right now, and I hate explaining, I'd rather just film and just do more doing, but I, I feel like I need to set things up here. What we are doing is we are looking for a specific type of water. The fish that we are after, very difficult. There is a chance today, actually a very high percentage, that we won't even see this fish. But the rewarding thing about the fish that we're after is that they're huge. And if we don't catch one this trip, we're definitely gonna go after them again. But being that we're in the Amazon, we're kind of tired of peacocks, we had to go after this guy. This is basically, in my opinion, the king of the river. We're trying to find these hidden, uh, closed off lakes, and that's where these fish lurk. They come up every 20 to 30 minutes to breathe. So with the very least, we can post up in an area, see if something surfaces. If nothing surfaces, then we move. We are in probably one of the eeriest spots in the Amazon yet. Is this not just like super, it's a quiet. It's a little spooky back here, but it's set in the mood. And maybe that means that because there's no fish back here and no life, that something is, back here chasing everything out chasing everyone out of the swamp but we're not we're not fishing for shrek we're not. you got sidetracked yeah i got sidetracked i get sidetracked a lot when this camera turns on okay i'm gonna let the video do the rest of the talking what's that dead silent it's really quiet back here i just not realized Twenty-four minutes now in this little lake. No sign of monstrous fish, but the giant peacock back here. Our guide Alfredo is waiting to see something. He's waiting to hear something or see something come up. And if he doesn't see something in the next few minutes, I'm guessing we're gonna probably get out of here. Louis, has Alfredo caught one on rod or just net? Yeah, he's only yeah. caught one on net too. I think Alfredo just caught one on a net as well. I wonder if they just don't know of any hidden lakes because the fact that it's a freaking hidden lake, like they, they would have had to have been, yeah. It's not like they can look at Navionics. They can't pull like a Navionics chip. I know what we should have done. What time is it? I don't know. Bit of a stalemate here. We don't know what to do. I think they're back there discussing the plan or the lack of plan. We're trying to discuss our end of the plan. These fish have us completely dumbfounded. I don't know. Uh, I'm not giving up. You're not ready to give up, are you? Yeah, let's keep going. I say we keep going. Well, it's official. We got no idea what we're doing. We're headstrong. We're going to keep on going. Next spot's about a 60-minute drive. I think the opposite direction, which our home base boat is at. Off, we can just push this right over. Yeah. Alfredo, we'll get, get off right and here. then push. Just don't grab onto a pit viper. We're going for it. There's no hesitation here. If we hesitate, then we were hesitating earlier. That's not good. But now we're gonna hit this full hard, full on. We're gonna hit this full on. Full hard. Okay. 
Where the f is Louie? Louie! Louie! So here's the deal right now. We are in the jungle, portaging to a lake that supposedly has very, very many big fish. I don't want to really make any promises here, but it's an adventure. And that's why we go on these trips. We generally like to step outside our comfort zone. If we're playing it safe and not doing cool stuff like this, then you guys obviously aren't gonna wanna watch the video. So that's why we're trekking through a semi-dangerous jungle in hopes to maybe get at least one bite. Things that could kill us in this jungle, let's start listing some. Jaguars, anacondas, pit vipers, tarantulas, scorpions, diseases, uh, wasps, giant wasps, poison dart frog if you eat it, uh, caiman, and piranhas if you fall in the water. Ant eaters are vicious. <laughs> Holy sh Yes! <laughs> oh my god, we made it. We made it to the lake of monsters. We did it. This is just like a multi-step process here. First, we had to drive to the lake via boat. And we had to walk from the boat, from the river, to the lake. And then now we have to wait up to 45 minutes for one of these fish to surface because they come up for air every 45, 30 minutes. So now we wait. Now we're just we're just chilling, waiting for a big, big fish to come up and surface. This is borderline mission impossible, but it just has to be attempted. Like we gotta try it, you know? There are three Americans on a lake right now by ourselves. And um, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't just a little bit sketchy. We're trying to get bait right now. We've already got one wolf fish, which is really, really good for bait. Pericas over here like yoking them. <laughs> Careful where you said the hook though. Go right in my face. Anyway, everything's going very good right now. I don't want to jinx it, but everything is going as planned. Next, we need to rig up some rods with this hook right here, and we need to get to fishing. There's our bait. Well, oh. what was our bait? Louie, which ones? Smaller bait. Smallest bait. ones. Big? You big? Yeah. You said smallest yeah. hook. Um, oh, this one. That one? Better. Yeah, yeah, better. Circle. Or this one. I'm using this one. Okay. You fish is catch a rapaima. Me looks out the lake, okay? Okay, look at here. Stay, stay here? here? Yeah. Me looks out the lake. What okay. if a uh, jaguar comes? No, no. Machete. Knife you. you. No, no, take it. No, no, me no knife. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. <laughs> look it. Oh. Okay. Little knife. Yeah. <laughs> Little jaguar. <laughs> take, you want to take her? Take, 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 take that. that. Take that. We have this. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah we're yeah, good. You be safe. Thank you. Okay. Don't, don't leave. You turn. Eric's like, okay. don't leave. Yeah, here I said it. It's like, don't leave. Nope, here goes nothing. Oh, there's one. Big arapaina. All the oh, way out yeah. there. See that? Mm -hmm. I saw his back. Like 100 pounds, like high uh, up there, <laughs> yeah. big, big one. Yeah. Holy sh Well, these fish are as hard as we thought they would be. Um, we've seen them, which is, oh, here. Did you see that? Scott, did you see that? No. Perk, perk, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh fish. Oh, That's a fish. Open the bell, open the bell. Perk, open the bell. Perk, open the bell. Perk okay. I'll roll for you, I'll roll for you. Just focus on the fish. Focus on the fish, Perk. I got it, I got go? it, I got oh, it. No, 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 he's still there, he's still there, he's still there. Is that the hook? No, 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 no. not yet, not yet. Arapaima? Oh, 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 oh. Is that the hook? Got him. He's on, he's on. Arapaima. Arapaima. Is he on? No, he's... Hey, bro. No. Broken. Oh my God. Arapaima. A day's worth of fishing can change in seconds, and that's exactly what happened just then. You get maybe one bite a day, maybe two, three if you're lucky. They're so hard to not only catch, but to find and locate. And uh, we, as a group, just had our first opportunity. The Perix bobber, which is literally a water bottle, went straight under. It felt like probably like 10 seconds, and it snapped his line. Like, snapped it clean. 
now that we know what's up and I feel like we were more prepared, you have to go through the trial and error process in order to make something like this happen. So we went through the trial part, the error was shortly followed after, now it's time for some success. Bigger, the other one? We're going? What? No, it's a Walkman. Walkman is water lake. We're going? Okay. This is crazy. These guys were out here on the lake in which you're air pima fishing, and they're gonna take us fishing. We don't know them. Louis doesn't know them, but we're just gonna go with them. Easy. Thank you, thank you. Where are you going? This just happened. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got it. Shout out to these guys. So nice. Another lake. Big good. Good lake. No, small lake is a five arapaima. Small lake. Arapaima. Five arapaima. This lake is a two. Two like arapaima. Two? two? And we got at least one of them. We got one of them. This? Five. He said two in this lake? Yeah. Huh? Whoa. So, I... The, the mission continues. This is <laughs> not. So there's two arapaima in this entire lake. Yeah. yeah. And you had one of them. And we may have hooked another. We may have caught another. So that means we're, we probably should get hooked up on this other lake. If there's five and it's a smaller yeah. lake. We're making it happen. This is going to happen. Lake. We're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do it, buddy. <laughs> Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Take care. Oh my god, today has been the most interesting day here in the Amazon thus far. Chasing after these arapaima, these giant river monsters, these giant Amazonian dragons. Even if we don't catch fish today, even if we don't get to say that we caught one here in the Amazon, we have probably one of the best fishing stories that uh, that we'll ever experience in our entire lives. This is just so diverse and incredible. We probably won't ever do anything like this again. Close my mind that we've come this far. I mean, not to sound dramatic, but seriously, you guys have no idea, or maybe you do have an idea, as to how much we've done today, just to chase after one single fish. That spot over there looks good too. Yeah. All those trees directly across from me, fair. Can you drop your line for a sec? Arapaima. Oh, yeah, it's Arapaima. See? Big. It's big. <laughs> Holy shit. I just want to make sure it's a bomb, you know? That's it. Oh my god, guys. That was the fish. That was the arapaima. <laughs> That's bigger than anything we've seen all day. I am just feet away from where that arapaima blew up. I always say this when I go after a new big fish, but there is, seriously, honest to god, no fish that compares. There it is again. Oh my god. That is so close to my bobber. Why is he doing that? Eating? Air. <gasps> right? Breathe. Yeah. Breathing. biggest blessing in disguise all day. We finally found a very small body of water that has not one giant arapaima, but multiple giant arapaima. Louis thinks that there's one in here that is 100 pounds. We're talking about a fish. Something with scales and gills. I mean, that is huge. Here's the issue. As the sun is going down and we're in the middle of the jungle, those two don't really mix, especially when you've got three Americans who barely know anything about the Amazon and just one guide. And our boat is, how far do you think, two hours away? About a two hour, one hour hike back from this location here. Well, we probably got 
hour and a half for our hour, 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 hour and half. hike, and we probably got an hour and a half or hour boat ride back to the pool. And we have very little daylight left too, so this is so frustrating. I know that if we were to stay here for like an hour more, two hours more, we would definitely have a good shot of catching this arapaima, this giant fish. I turned the camera on to show my frustration and kind of, I don't know, I'm just Another sad. Another update here, folks. Oh, oh my gosh. That's the fish we're after right there, arapaima. <laughs> An arapaima. Huh? Hundred, hundred pounds. We tried. We try tomorrow too. Tomorrow, we get him. We honestly, God could not have done this without our amazing guide Louis. Now we have to walk, however long, back to the boat, and then from the boat we have another hour drive. This has been a journey, guys. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened today, but I'm glad it did. We Go made away. it, boys. <laughs> Woo! Louie. Louie, you're the man. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, get a little bit closer. We did it. Done. Over. Arapaima mission. Over and out. So